And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Undying Control. So this is a donation deck. That's what the two Ds stand here. So this was a, a viewer submitted list. And the viewer that submitted this this deck said they got that this deck got them to Masters. So that, that's pretty exciting. So we're going to be trying this out here. If you want your deck played on stream, it's just a $10 donation. There's a donation link down below for those of y'all watching on YouTube. And I'll just kind of put it here in chat. And you can uh, have your deck played at any time. Just let me know when you want me to play it. And if you want me to build the deck, if you just have an idea for a deck and you want me to build it, I can do that too. All right, but... Uh, yeah, so this this deck, I'm calling it Undying Control because we're playing the Undying. This is kind of my first time playing the Undying in Constructed. I've played this card quite a bit in um, Expeditions, but not too much in Constructed. I've, I've, this card has seems to really struggle in Constructed. Basically, the the whole can't block thing is is a really big downside. So you turn every single unit your opponent has into an elusive unit. And if you have a bunch of Undyings in play, then none of them can block. And they can, they can, um, uh, they can, uh, clog. They can clog your battlefield. And so you can't play other things that block. And so, like, while your opponent is playing more units, you can only have six units. And so if you have, like, two or three or four of these out where they can't block, um, that can be, a, you know, really problematic. Because they don't hit very hard for three mana all right so that's all the downsides now the upsides is it's basically this card is basically impossible to block it's basically un unblockable you, you basically never want to block this thing and uh if you can let it die if you can get it to die a couple of times it can come back bigger and bigger and then they have to just start chump blocking because it's too big and so on and against decks that aren't putting pressure uh, and then also against the decks that don't put pressure on you with units, it's amazing against like the spell heavy decks, which there are a good amount of control decks these days. And so the Undying is amazing in, in those matchups also. And then finally, even though like I talked about like the downsides of the Undying, but this deck is helping mitigate those downsides because we're pairing the Undying with Ruination, where Ruination will just kill all units. Um, so, you know, you have a sweeper, so you get to advance your battlefield and have this and you know your your opponent needs to advance their battlefield to race the undying and then you get to ruination and your undyings don't uh, like they come back you know they are the undying um so uh so that's that's really interesting pairing this with you know triple ruination and kind of having that be the plan besides that you know we have our for our um uh for the champions we have elise a good good aggressive champion but um is also just just very efficient at two mana hecarim is a very good champion as well and then um you know our top end we got commander ledros uh good good um defensive elements with the box grasp the the undying withering whale these help stop aggression help you uh gain that life and race with the undying so pretty interesting, pretty interesting deck. You know, like the the absorb souls help help us race. You know, get to gain that life also and kill the undying. Um, so yeah, that's pretty interesting deck here. So this will be fun to play. So let's go on over. We're gonna go play t ten matches in ranked with undying control. Here we go. <laughs> what do you mean, Scarface? What do you mean? Okay, let's see. Do you do you play like this this kind of deck as well? So Elise Thresh. I think I want to send back Hapless Aristocrats. Maybe we're supposed to just keep Hapless Aristocrat. I mean that's that's the point of the Aristocrat is to be played on turn one, I guess. The Grass of the Undying could be something I could mulligan. I feel like the the box is going to be really good because I feel like this deck is probably playing uh, the five mana make three spiders. I feel like they're they're playing that card and so having the box to just clean that up is probably really good.
I probably should have mulliganed the grasp. That, that was a card I probably should have mulliganed. You suffer long. Darn, so they do have that card, but I, I don't have the four mana for the box. I had I had a plan. Didn't work out though. But I had a plan. Just gonna go straight to attacks. We don't have to worry about them blocking Elise as of now. I just realized my my board got reset, but we need we should switch to the Shadow Isles board. Y'all should remind me to do that. Right now I have two boards. I have Shadow Isles and Ionia, and this is definitely a Shadow Isles deck. Should be me. Uh, hopefully, getting rid of everything. All right, so I don't get to flip Elise now. I don't get that extra Spiderling. Cleared out everything. Ooh, I like that. Down to four. Be a problem. I guess I guess I have I have deny for atrocity. So I was thinking if they have like another they who endure and attack with both of them and then you know atrocity. <laughs> All right, try. It. Hopefully, I remember to change the board this time. We're in the driver's seat right now.
We're gonna go down to six. Wish, really wish we could have had that four life that would have been draining. They can't have double atrocity. They could also just have... Oh no, had nothing. Yeah, they could just have removal for Elise. Oh, not 4 no yet. 1 no. Okay, I remember to change the board. Let's do that. Alright, so we're going to go to collection, boards. Equip. There we, go. we got a pretty spooky deck. We need a pretty spooky board. Hmm. Garen and Fiora. Vile Feast is good at stopping a barrier. Vengeance is good at killing a Fiora through a barrier, but still, I don't want that to just be my entire hand. We'll keep one Vile Feast for now. I wish I was attacking turn two. Gonna block the one one. They block the one one, I'm just gonna let it happen. I want the, like these withering whales to take out this thing. Smell that? A bite to cook. That egg. Did it move? Quite the dish, aren't you? have good blocks especially how you know like this thing just does one damage like they'll won't actually do any damage so we'll just take it we can use our life total a little bit as a resource considering we have uh, so much life or like we have so much life gain Game's gonna be pretty tr tricky. Oh, 
All right, and this is where play another unit. Let me ruination. Come on, play something. Yeah. Get him. No. Demacia splashing for deny. That's so good against me. No. Yeah, we got God. Stay resolute. So I don't know. How do we win this from here? We have to like. to have like grasp the undying resolve but that's not gonna happen Yeah, that deny was was rough. We had set up like without that deny, we had set up perfectly. But can't block anything. So I'm going down to negative ten. Only way of let's see that's six now even even both of those and kill oh I guess I could kill a five four I mean obviously they they have a million cards that breaks this up but this would put me to one it's my only chance. Wait, I still don't have a chance now because of this. Now I need a ruination. But even if I if I ruination right now, they just play another creature and attack me. <laughs> so I still can't. I still. Yeah, I still have no chance. Um. Yeah. All right, they got me. Oh my gosh, did I did I just not concede? I just exited the game? Wait, I I did that correct, right? <laughs> Their hand can't all be spells cuz all they had to do is play any spell and I would have lost the previous turn. Like a single spell and I lose. And they didn't do that. I think I exited the game correctly, but then it just... Uh, so I don't know why I would have exited the game differently, but then it just... Um, you know, bugged out or whatever. Just closed. I really want to draw in Dyings. Get rid of this for sure. And we'll get rid of Hecarim. Hecarim's just kind of slow. Shadow Assassin's also good, but we want Shadow Assassin in Undyings. Basically, this is like the only other card I would keep. Like maybe... 
Uh, maybe Elise. Okay, so yeah, I needed to surrender here and I, I clicked exit game. It's weird they have those like that. Okay. So yeah, I, I clicked the wrong thing. Where's my undyings at? This is a bad Withering Whale matchup. <laughs> That's called a Rage Quit. Not good at drawing the undying. I guess I could have glimpsed beyond that. I was thinking that I was gonna have too many cards. I mean, it would have put me to ten. But then, yeah, I wouldn't be able to like draw the next turn. All right, we found our card. Let's go. <sighs> Do I play Hecarim? I play Hecarim, what's the worst that can happen? They play... I don't know, they bounce it. Like Will of Ionia. They play Karma. Can't play Yone yet. All right, did not have deny mana for that. I must get out of here. Like there's some times that that you can really get something good with that, you know, like that uh, absorb soul can really be nice. But honestly, with this matchup and and where we are, I just want to. I just want to kill this. I get some two targets for Ezreal and draws him a card.
So I found out yesterday that even if you get rid of both targets and both targets are no longer there, the Static Shock still draws a card. That was disappointing. Even like this matchup is going to be a, a good. Even this is going to be a good ruination matchup. Unless they deny ruination. So yeah, I like getting deny out of their hand. I like that. I have come for the unforgiven. Alright, awesome. Our Undying died. It's gonna come back as a four four power now. Very good. Ezreal's only at four out of eight. I need to make sure to keep a bunch of stuff here to deal with Ezreal. Karma is a 5 4. Whatever the cost. And Karma is so good. I don't like Karma as a 5 4. Everything in my hand does 3 damage. Will of Ionia is great against the Undying. That's a card that makes the Undying not look so good. Don't blink or you miss me. Oh, I have Shadow Assassin that could block this. No way. Maybe I didn't need to cast that right then.
I want them to play Karma, and then I play Ruination. Alright, I guess I just play Ledros. Good card. It's not as good as Deny. Deny would definitely be the best card we could draw. Yeah, I'm going to play Ruination this turn. It's gonna be so good for us if this resolves. Yes, it does. Oh, that is so good for us. That is so good for us. <laughs> Check me out. They only have two mana, so I don't think they can do 20 damage with Ezreal with two mana. Watch and learn. But I guess Ezreal says that we need to watch and learn. I like this Undying plus Ruination. Sure. I like this. I don't like Will of Ionia. It's nice I get to grasp the I can grasp the undying my own you know my own unit also to gain the life. They use removal on my 2-2 two -two to not let me gain life, and that's not damage they're dealing to me. sweet match. Yeah, 
That was a pretty sweet match. So we got Elise back. I was thinking that Elise wouldn't really be necessarily like the best blocker for us. And I also kind of wanted to not play anything on turn two so that I could have the box on turn three. But maybe. I'd follow you anywhere. Of course you would. Maybe I don't want this on turn three. Maybe I want it a little bit later. Like turn four, turn five when they can double spell. They can use the spinning axe to kill Elise. Just how it is, but I'm planning on you know letting stuff die, Black Spear the Draven. Time for the money makers. Yeah, they discarded they discarded another Draven. That's pretty awesome. They don't have many cards left. They just have... I, mean, I guess they have one less card than we do if you don't count Spinning Axe. Don't get in my way. Uh, darn, they didn't play another two-mana creature. My steel is yours. I was risking it. Instead of just having the box kill it. We're not doing that bad though. I like where we're at. Oh, Hecarim, you used to attack for 10 and be a two-turn clock on your own back in the day. They do have okay, cool. I'll just say if they do have another rally, that was gonna be really tough. So 
So eight mana, so I can't Undying Elise and have the box available. Um, I could Elise and Onslaught of Shadows. I don't really need Onslaught of Shadows. So four. We just Onslaught of Shadows. Um I pull the string. Hey, Bobby. No closer. Here, Pop. Here. Oh, there you go. Lower camera. Can see puppy. What are the chances that last thing is a creature? Darn it. It's twice. I had the opportunity to use the box as a one for one. And I hoped that they played another thing and they didn't. the name Laurent. I think we got this. Uh, I think we got this. <laughs> yeah, puppy's such a good puppy. Yeah, this deck is pretty sweet. I like it. I wonder if, like, you know, if it'd be better for playing, like, uh, instead of Elise playing Thresh, if we should have Rekindler. But it's kind of nice having... It's kind of nice having Elise in here, because I can put some early pressure on people, and, and you know, maybe, maybe people aren't expecting... Ruination as much playing against Elise. It just helps out the curve and everything, too. I liked it more the first time whenever they just passed. Two mana is going to be wasted anyway. Save the 
Bleh. Yeah, it's true. If you do get to flip Thrash, get Hecarim. Hecarim's awesome. Dude, how good are just all these Undyings? They're just like, how do I... Yeah, because they're, you know, like they're a control deck that wants to use a bunch of removal, and we're just like, go ahead, use removal. You can do it, don't worry. So I still have Deny to protect Hecarim. Or can also let Hecarim die. I think that's a good thing to deny. 7 versus 4 mana wise. Oh my gosh! I could have attacked with all of them. For some reason I thought that... Uh, I was like, I was like, I should attack with the second ephemeral so that we get the the level up part. I don't know why I was thinking that I couldn't attack with all of them. No. Oh well, we're still in a wonderful spot, but that could have been another two damage. I don't know why I was, I was thinking I was going to be fooled. Something ancient stirs. Sure. Um, yeah. Endless cold. I want I let that happen because I want to deny Withering Whale. So I think like that whole attack and everything was definitely about Withering Whale. And that's the card I want to deny. Add another. I wish I could Withering Whale all of my stuff. Do they have a third wither wi withering whale?
What was the point of that? This means their their Nivea is gonna keep staying alive. Staying alive, staying alive. I will endure. And basically had to have a third wither withering whale. Oh, brittle steel, okay. Okay. That's still lethal. Alright. The Undying's just really helped, you know, that they really owned that game. You know, their their goal is to like kill all of my stuff with Anivia over and over, but it's like <laughs> that doesn't work against the Undying. You can't kill the Undying. That's That's why it's named the Undying. Don't get rid of those. Yeah, it's nice the Glimpse Beyond is free, that it's it's two mana, draw two plus pump your creature. <laughs> it's even better. Even better. Uh, so is this control or aggro? Like, is the box going to be good or nah? It's probably going to be good. Probably going to be playing a whole bunch of spitters, spitterlings. Expecting a bunch of spitterlings. Come closer. I don't bite. That's exactly what someone who bites would say. There's nothing to fear. No. No, Harvey. No. Stop scratching. My dog likes to, to scratch my chair, trying to get my attention to pet her. I was just petting her for a while. But as soon as I stop, and then she starts scratching the chair. Get excited, discard, get excited. Let's get excited in here. Sounds of prey. You will suffer long. Got rid of all those.
All right, gain four. I'm going to use their removal so I don't gain four. Good draw. But yeah, I'm, I'm setting up Ruination. If they play more things. They're like a Ruination deck also, though. Maybe I should just Grasp. I probably shouldn't be doing this Glimpse Beyond right now, actually. I should, yeah, I don't, I don't think I should be casting this, because I, I think this is too easy for them to kill this, and I don't draw my two. Alright, but it worked out. Worked out. I hope they're sitting there looking at their ruinations in hand, like, what am I supposed to do with these? Good draw with the Glimpse Beyond. This is pretty awesome against control decks. This Undying, Commander Ledros. Yeah, do something about this. Hmm, just pass. Bold choice. All right, so I, I attack in. They can't block Commander Ledros. They die. So it's probable it's probable that they have Vengeance. That's their plan is just to Vengeance the Commander Ledros. So Vengeance costs seven mana, which would mean if they if their plan is Vengeance, it means they would only have one extra mana. So therefore, they probably wouldn't be able to do anything about this other five damage I could do. You know, they could pivot. Uh, okay, well. Okay. Well, that didn't work out super well for me, but... We traded our Vile Feast for their Vile Feast and, you know, got the... Got their uh, thermogenic beam out of hand. No, I, I don't, Rockborn. I've been playing this instead. I'm just going to keep on playing Ledros. I'm, I'm expecting Ruination now. But, you know, we have we have the Undying. We can just keep on doing this. Yeah, so that, that's why I wrote why I'm playing this over MTG. Gotcha. Have you have you heard about this game, Rockborn? Uh, 
I said you you stopped playing MTG a few weeks ago. Would they want to do this afterwards? Aren't they kind of doing this in the wrong order? Like, when, wouldn't you want to have this do two and then you gain three instead of gain three and then it does three? They're, they're taking an extra point of damage. But it does, the thing is, is it does let them do something now. But no, they were going to be able to do that thing now anyway. Ah, they want a thermogenic beam. Okay. That's fair. They take the extra point of damage, but they get to thermogenic beam. Yeah, I do. I do find it more enjoyable. You really don't need to have a deep knowledge about the game. Like, you, you know, you get started, like the tutorial helps describe stuff, and it's, it's pretty easy to pick up, you know, coming from magic backgrounds. Um, the games are, every single game is skill testing and close. Um, you don't have all the games with magic of, like, all the problems with mana and everything. Um, I love the turn, basically I love the, the turns. Um, each turn, both players play things back and forth. It's not, I have a turn, you have a turn. That's that's like my favorite part about the game. It makes it really balanced. It's not like, you know, if you're on the play, you have a big advantage. There's there's no such thing as that in this game. You know, like, turn one, both players play creatures. Turn two, both players play creatures, and so on. It's just um, one person is just the attacker each turn. Commander Ledros kill. Dude, the Undying is sweet. That's my first ever Commander Ledros kill. That's my first ever time that they were at one and I played Commander Ledros and it does the one damage. It takes half their life rounded up so they have to be at one to actually be lethal. Oh yeah, that's a good point, Josh. And I didn't really think about that. That like somebody new playing competitively, that the ran the lands are like the the most expensive cards, and so like if you want to play competitively, you have to like buy the lands, and that's like not it's not fun spending a whole lot of money on on lands. That like aren't even like the cool cards. But they're the most expensive because everybody needs them. So you just need them to play. Alright, Callista Elise. Yeah, this looks good. <laughs> yeah, first few months of Arena is just blowing all your wild cards on Shocklands. <laughs> yep. Rockborn, the reward system of this game is absolutely amazing, and it's getting better this upcoming week. They're they're adding in a lot more to the weekly rewards already, like than what they already are. And uh, you really don't need to spend like a great part about this game compared to like Arena. You really don't need to spend money, and you can build a collection if you just play. You don't need to spend any money at all. How, what will be my problem for playing the Undying here? Frenzied Skitter? Frenzied Skitter would be the problem. Even Callista? Mm -hmm. I think I'd maybe just go to attacks. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's how Riot games are in general. Just gotta pay for cosmetics. Alright, they had the Frenzied Skitter. I called it. If I Black Spear this, then I don't have Black Spear for Callista or Elise. Is that okay? Yeah. Popper. No. Don't scratch the chair. No. You don't scratch the chair either. So basically, they can't block Elise. You know, we can attack with the Undying, so we don't care if they block that. I wanted to be able to Withering Whale. How's this thing a 4 3? Oh, Omen Hawk, right. But that's why I didn't attack with the hapless aristocrat and trade it off because we we're just going to be killing all their creatures anyway. Um, card looks problematic. Card looks problematic. Have any vengeances? Two. More like too little. Please, I have connection. We'll save one life here. Yes, you can only have a maximum of two regions in your deck. You can either have one or two. You can't have more um, because, like, there's no there's no color of mana. Like, this is your mana over here, and so since there's no color of mana, it would be it, you know, it'd get kind of it would just get crazy if you could play three colors. Um, so yeah, everything's either one or two regions, and so it's it's real free to play like a second region even for just one or two cards that happen sometimes um Sorry, dog life. I get upset. Um. What's your hurry? (sighs) 
I don't I don't really have any great ideas right now. Was basically what I wanted to happen. Let me change into something more. Come now I don't think they'll have two damage. Um, so this brings along two things alongside with it. That brings alongside one. But, well, that one just isn't coming. Yeah, Ezreal is probably the best champion in the game. Yeah, best site for deckless. Um, there's two of them. Mobile Addicts. Oh, come on. You have another one of these? I guess we heal three and then we only we go down to one. Um, if you, if basically, like, that's, that's a link to all my decks, but then also on the left-hand side, there's a library where you can search, um, there's, down at the bottom, there's a meta tier list, like, for metagame decks there also. So that one's very good, Mobile Addicts, and then also just decks of Runeterra.com. Those are the two that I use to, like, whenever I'm searching around, looking for new things to, to build or looking for. Um, some inspiration behind decks and stuff like that. This deck is sweet. We are six and one. That was a clutch. One mana gain four life. That was clutch. Awesome, Rockborn. Yeah. Yeah, give it a try. Like I said, you don't, you really don't need um, to spend any money. Uh, there's a weekly vault starting next week. That vault is is really ramping up. Um, it's un unlimited rewards, basically. The more you level up, the more the more le you level up the vault, the more rewards you get. Okay, all these are bad. We need to stop scratching. We need the Undying and Shadow Assassin. The Undying. No. Where's the Undying? These are not Undyings nor Shadow Assassins. Um. 
pedo. Lisa's back. It's too late for you. This control matchup's a lot easier whenever we have the undying. We're gonna just try with all these little one ones. It's a good thing to deny. It doesn't you know they don't draw a card, they don't get two Ezreal triggers. It's a good deny target for us. Okay, like the Legends decks, that's... This game is kind of like the Legends decks, like where there's the champions. They're kind of like the legendary creatures. The champions are... Um, you know, they're, they're the most powerful cards in the game. And they're kind of like what you build your decks around. Not all the time, but, you know, some of the time. Good build around. And yeah, if you like... Esper, Jeskai control. Definitely a lot of control, because... Probably the most powerful champions are the control champions. Alright, so getting Thermogenic Beam out is good, because Thermogenic Beam is... the most efficient removal spell at killing Hecarim. Now they unsummoned it. No. Okay, I literally don't stop petting you. How do you get how do you get tired whenever I stop petting you for a second? And you go crazy. Time for a true display of skill. So I want to drain four from the Aristocrat and then Black Spear Ezreal, or just let them Mystic Shot something, then Black Spear. They may not Mystic Shot. Hmm. They may not Mystic Shot one of these 1-1s, one -ones, though. Gotcha. But I guess we get... We were at 19. Alright, this puts me back to 20. They don't get the target. No way. Alright, let's go Hecarim. Let's go Hecarim. Love having the two vengeances be able to kill, you know, Ezreal and uh, Karma. They cannot hide. Yeah, there's not, there's not really discard. No, there's no discard. There's no discard in Legends of Runeterra. No, no thought erasure. Yeah. 
Let's go heck around. You cannot escape. It's too late for you. Hecker, I'm getting bounced again. You cannot escape. I I'm thinking we're going to be 7 and 1. Come here. We'll see what they got. Ezreal's close to transforming, but you know, like we have this stuff, eh? Patience and virtue make a true swordsman. Um, that's kind of annoying. I guess I can vengeance that. I don't have the mana for another vengeance, but I would have the mana for the box for Ezreal. But I guess I guess Ezreal's going to be a two four now, though. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Will they kill me? Will Ez Ezreal kill me now? Don't know what up Was that just a mistake to use that ruination? Or to use that vengeance? Am I dead? They have to do 12 damage to me. 8 damage to me. I could be dead. That could have been a mistake of like where I need to just chump block. I mean, I'd have to chump block Yone with Hecarim. I'm not really winning if I do that. Yeah, I'm not winning if I jump block. So I guess, yeah, we had to force them to have Ezreal plus have a bunch of spells. I still have Vengeance. Because unfortunately the box only does the three damage, so the box wasn't gonna kill the Ezreal, so that's why I played the Undying. If if Ezreal would not have been flipped, I would not have played the Undying there. This is awful. Giving Ezreal life steal. And all, all this stuff is burst speed, so I can't respond to it. Alright, that has to be a unit in hand. If it's a spell, I lose. Woo! Got there. Wow, that was so close. Wow, that was so close. Ooh. Wow. All right, seven and one. Seven and one. My phone just gave me a, a top news story that says that the U.S. now has more cur confirmed coronavirus cases than any other nation. All right, Ezreal Draven. So where's the Undying? 
Glimpse Beyond is awesome in this matchup if we have the Undying, but we need the Undying first. It's also just good at other things. We'll just, we'll keep one Glimpse Beyond. Yeah, this is a good hand. I'll take Shadow Assassin. So we have the good anti-control stuff. So we basically hope that they just have a control hand. And that they don't have Draven was what I was going to say. Alright, that's still not bad. Force them to kill the Undying. We want the Undying to be bigger. Bigger. Faster. Stronger. Well, this is basically the, like our hand, I really liked our hand, but what my opponent's been doing is the worst case scenario for us of having the Draven and then like these jury rigs and stuff they got to just loot away. This was the worst case scenario for us against them. Love it. Love it. I pull the strings. Axes coming right up. Cool BJJ, yeah, let me know how Ezreal Karma goes. I guess I should, I haven't really played Ezreal Karma. Maybe I should play, maybe we should like, you know, play that tomorrow on stream. I haven't really played that deck myself. This is just the best card for me to deny in their, in their whole deck. There's no, there's no more expensive card than Static Shock. Uh, the only card that's more expensive than this is Progress Day, and that's Burst Speed. I can't counter that. So that gives them two Ezreal triggers, and... Um, oh, wait. That's only Drain 4. That doesn't, that doesn't kill that. I guess they just want the target for Ezreal.
That's good. Oh, I I thought I was gonna be able to play that and have Black Spear, but okay. Well, they didn't they didn't play. You can jump up here, puppy, if you want, or you can just be down there. I uh, still need two more as. Yeah, definitely need those. You know, playing like an Ezreal Karma deck, you definitely want to ma max out your Ezreals and Karmas. Likely have another Nox Noxia Guillotine. Things at six out of eight right now. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Nailed it. I keep them from getting their target. I want to cast Ruination this turn. And get rid of Ezreal. Could have 12 damage. Can't stop him. Can't stop him now. Did just use, you know, a bunch of mystic strikes. Don't have any more life gain. That's real so good. Played this Undying. I shouldn't have played this. I need to keep Black Spear available. If they would have played Ezreal, I would have been able to Black Spear it. Is that right? No. No, because I played this the turn before. What did I play? I guess I played the Ledros. Yeah, it was me playing the Ledros and tapping out. That's how I tapped out was Ledros. And allowed them to Ezreal. Just so broken. Firing. There's nothing to fear. Hush. Open this kills them. They had to draw a burn spell. Come on. Ugh. 
Dang, I feel like we got really unlucky to not win that game. But, I mean, I guess I just should not have tapped out for Commander Ledros. Still, their hand was just absolutely perfect. I didn't think they were going to be winning that at all for what our... For, you know, I didn't think they were going to be beating the Undying, but they had everything perfect. With, you know, Draven with all those uh, jury rigs early. Then they had three Mystic Shots and a Get Excited at the end. Perfect. Alright, we get a rematch. Good. Because I think this is a good matchup for us. I see keeping Black Spear. Because it kills Draven and Ezreal. Yeah, Ezreal does seem like it costs too little. No, it's not the same player. You don't you don't get paired against the same player back to back. I I don't I've never had it at least. So while I don't know who we just played against, I I just don't think it's the same player. That doesn't really happen. We don't have our undyings this game though. I think Ezreal is balanced by his stats. I don't know, just, just generating the free spells at three mana. After our mulligan, we... <laughs> I mean, Commander Ledros, Hecarim, Hecarim, Ruination, Deny Ruination. These are not early spells at all. Man, we're already down to eight. All right, I think we're going to get burned out here. We're just at too low of a life total. Yeah, and that's Riot's theory. That Ezreal is balanced. Blade's Edge would be a little bit of a blowout. These last two cards were good draws. Grasp and Withering Whale gives gives me some potential life gain. Some much needed potential life gain.
next turn is turn eight. So basically, do I want to play Elise right now, or next turn have Hecker or have ten mana to be able to have Hecker um plus deny? If I play Elise right now, then I, if I want to play Hecarim, I don't get to do anything else. All right, drawing the box. Um, don't want to play anything else. I want I want to be able to kill Ezreal or Draven. Gosh, they could still play Ezreal or Draven. It would be nice to get Hecarim in play. I need to kill those two right away. Hey, boo. What's up? Yeah, definitely a productive day so far. This deck is awesome. This is a really cool donation deck that we're playing. I've had very, very close matches these last two. Where we haven't been ahead in a matchup that I think that we should be ahead, but it just hasn't worked out. So awkward. I wish we had one more mana. So I only get one additional thing with Hecarim. You know, we can Black Spear or something. But we can't, you know, we can't Black Spear something and the box or and deny or anything like that. Okay. I'll take that. So 12 mana, if we went to Ledros, we don't get to do anything else. So let's just go to attacks before they have like the 3-2 stun my Hecarim. Forks! Welcome. So they're doing this for Noxious Guillotine. Do I counter Noxion Guillotine? Yeah, I'm going to counter Noxion Guillotine. I don't like that they just get to be able to cast it again this round. They get it as a free spell. They can, you know, which they can use for for a multitude of things. That's a good card. I'm glad to see that one. I like where we're at. Don't blink or you miss me. Four out of eight.
Just two mana. We get to Ledros. Glad they didn't attack. That would have been a crazy attack. Hey, buddy, what you doing? They have to get rid of the Hecarim and get rid of a 2 2. I don't have a deny. Looks like they have the ability to get rid of both of those. Or they're just trying to kill me. Okay, well, I like that plan because I got a lot of life gain. So let's start with... Drain three from that. So that's me staying alive, them not staying alive. All right, eight and two. That was a good comeback win. That clutch ruination. This deck was sweet. I liked this quite a bit, honestly. Yeah, this deck was awesome. It kind of just had everything. Like, the Ledros was really good. It didn't really feel like we, you know, like, it didn't really feel like we needed um, the Rekindler, because that's just, that would kind of just clog up our hand more. Like, our, it didn't really feel like we need that. I kind of liked the aggressive elements that we had, uh, where we could put pressure on them a little bit better. The Absorb Souls were awesome. That, that card was really impressive. Uh, Black Spear was really good. Yeah, this was just a, a really, a really good deck. Deny was amazing. I don't know if we could fit a third Deny in there. Um... <laughs> yeah, eight two is awesome. Yeah, this is just a really, a really cool deck. A uh, dog just walked by, and then somebody's walking their dog. I'm going to go let them out there. They've been acting up. I'm going to go let them out anyway right after this. But, um, yeah, basically, I don't I don't really have anything to say to upgrade it. Um, you know, one of our losses there, I think that we were pretty unfortunate with, was just, like, our opponent having great, great answers. But, you know, like that just happens. Um, yeah, pretty awesome deck. Thanks, thanks for the donation deck here. This was from uh, Karendis, Karendris? Yeah, Karendris. This was awesome. Yeah, Karendris said that they, they played this deck and got, got to Masters with this. Um, that's amazing. Yeah, cool deck. Thank you so much. All right, so 8-2, um, and two, very good. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button and because this was a sweet one, so definitely hit that like button and leave a comment. Uh, you know, let... Karen Driss know how awesome this deck was because this was cool. Uh, if you have your own deck that you want me to play, donation decks are $10. There's a link down below for those of y'all watching on YouTube. Also, those of y'all watching on Twitch, there's a link down below um, for the donation link. And like I said, it's $10. You just donate. Let me know what day you want me to play your deck. It's as easy as that. Um, and of course, I build decks as well. If you want me to build any specific deck, uh, you know, if you want like a, I don't know, a Callista Yasuo deck, you know, you can donate for that and I'll, I'll build a deck around them. But anyway, um, there you go. That's eight and two for Undying Control. Awesome deck. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.